Hi, my name is Mohammed Hussein, and I'll be illustrating how to parse an XML file using JavaScript. First, we have a look at the XML file. Here's the XML declaration, followed by the root element hibab, which has two child elements, zift, which contains a nila element, which contains some text. Now I'll start writing the script. And I'll paste um, the function for uh, XML file loading. Um, it takes the file name or, or path as a parameter. Then create an XML object for Microsoft's Internet Explorer. If it's not Internet Explorer, it will create the same object for uh, for all the other browsers then we set the asynchronous value of this um, object to false uh, to force the uh, XML parser not to uh, continue executing the rest of, of the script until the XML file is fully loaded then we invoke the load method which actually loads the um, the file and we return this object um, now I'll, I'll add um, target div for the text from the XML file to be displayed in. I'll give it the ID of target and then I'll write a new function I'll name it get nila <coughs> which basically creates a um, new XML object from using the function above passing the test.xml uh, file name as a parameter um, then um, I'll get the length of how many uh, NILA elements are there in the XML uh, document. In this case, uh, there are two. Um, then I'll do a for loop um, over these uh, elements. And I'm going to append to this empty div the text of each um, of each uh, value in the nila element in the XML file. I'll do this by um, calling the get element my ID function passing target <coughs> and I'm going to append to the inner HTML of uh, this element the text from the XML file um, XML file which is the, the object created above um, get elements by tag name um, of i f so that in the first uh, loop uh, I'll be pointing at um, or, or reading the value of uh, the first nila element index of zero and, and the next loop I'll be uh, getting the value of, uh, of the second nila element which has the index of one in this example I'll get these values by um, child nodes of zero dot node value Um, now 
now there is one step left is to execute this function get nila uh, when the document loads for example Let's try this in uh, Internet Explorer. As you can see, the A's and B's uh, are written into the web page, which are uh, values from the XML file. I'll go and add another uh, zift element. With another uh, new element containing C's. I'll go to the test.html and click refresh as you can see the C's are read and uh, displayed properly thanks for watching this uh, video um, have a good day full of Zift, Nila and Heather thank you